Hey chicken nuggets, welcome back to the motherfucking channel. We're playing Fears to Fathom, episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike. So I guess we're in Norwood and we're hitchhiking. Um... Norwood Hitchhike. June 16th. This is the day after my birthday. So it's the day after my birthday. Where we at? This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But seeing it out... Oh, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. You know, I might be dyslexic. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I go to every convention I get the chance to. And sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives. But a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12-hour drive. Baby, you you doing a 12-hour drive for a gaming convention? If you couldn't afford a ticket, you should have took your ass to the strip club and shook some ass and then made money for the ticket or something, baby. A 12-hour drive? So you drove 24 hours in total? <laughs> For a gaming convention? Are you crazy? Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. How do I check my messages again? What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You got to do what you got to do. Dad. You got it, Dad. Aiden Williams. Anything else, I'm leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You called? Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Can I get... With who? Aiden. The internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, you're not going to 10 hour drive by yourself, Will. I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. You don't understand anything. Let's talk when I get home. You going off your... How the heck do I get out of the messages? What the heck? Bro, I'm reading my messages. Okay, so let me not read the messages while I'm driving. Don't text and drive. Don't text and drive. But the messages, okay. Who the hell crashed it to me? Because I tried to get out the messages and it would not let me. Girl, you crazy for be you 19. You couldn't afford a plane ticket. Your ass shouldn't be going. I'm not driving 12 hours for no convention. You drove 12 hours? The only, re the only reason I'm driving 12 hours is if I'm moving somewhere to another state. Other than that, I'm not driving up 12 hours. And then you taking a long way? Is that the the uh, dude that crashed? You tell me, stop sending me messages. Because I tried to read my messages and I got crashed into. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Baby, it would have been easier to just get a plane ticket. How much plane tickets cost? You can't afford a plane ticket. Your ass don't need to be going. I'm with your dad on this one. If I was your father, yeah. Baby, you wild for this. And you by yourself? And you drove, you put hella miles on your car for a convention. How much did you spend on gas and an enemies? Y'all know what I mean. How much did you spend on that? Because with all of that, I'm pretty sure it would have cost less than a plane ticket. Who was walking over there? Is this a gas station? Oh, no. Turn this way. Turn. Okay, I can't. 
Bro! Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Told you to take that flight. I, I'm saying her ass stupid. No offense. Oh, Holly's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. Is it possible for me to, um... Dang, she walks slow. Is it possible for me to, um, to change the graphics? Ma'am, hi, can I get 10 on pump two? You head into the bridge by yourself? No, don't tell him you headed nowhere by yourself. The bridge. North Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there at this time of year. Be careful. Thanks. I'm not joking, ma'am. Be careful. It's not safe out there. For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never return. Locals say the Nord Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Um, well, thanks for gas. What did you say? What? What? All these people texting you. You could have just been on a flight, baby. This crazy. Mom. Okay, she take it too goddamn long to respond. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Okay, whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Baby, I'm not picking up shit. Um. Okay. What the heck? Just go outside. Just get gas. Just go. See, you had to do all of this. I could have just been on a fleet. What is this truck? They up in a grape van. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Girl! Milo! Dog food? My car is all the way over here. And this person walk. Like, why do you walk? How, what is your strides? Open your legs and, and walk. She walking so slow. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on. Pull over here, pull over here. Pull over here, pull over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cut your wheel! I hate driving in video games. I hate driving in video games. It pisses me off. She's not cutting her wheel at all, like, ma'am. Please cut your wheel. Pull up right here, pull up right here in the middle. Cut your wheel, look at how she's turning. Okay, that's, you know what, that's just gonna have, gonna have to be. Why is this stupid ass sign right there? Hey, she needs some dog food. Are you kidding me? Are you not in a city? Like, do you not know that I'm driving by myself? 
That'll be five dollars, ma'am. All right, thanks. Is that it? Okay. Put the dog food up in there. Get some gas and let's go. Like, I shouldn't have to do none of this. I feel the tank and was off on the road again. Great. Great. Gr was this bag always there? Hey. You could have been listening to the same music on a flight, but your stupid ass want to do this all night. Why? Being on the road, you do realize a thing. What? Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Thanks. Stop texting me when I'm driving, bitch! What happened to my lights? Because last time I checked my message, I crashed. And then it took me out the game. Hey, you ain't got to worry about me picking up no hitchhiker. <laughs> I ain't picking up nothing. Is this a bloody car? Why is this person driving so slow? Press the gas, bitch. So, like, my favorite game to play, I still have my Nintendo DS. I can't see anything. Where's my lights at? Where's your headlights at? This is pissing me off. Bro, what happened to the hip hop music? Driving at night is really therapeutic to me. I wasn't the best at driving. You know what? That's your stupid ass fault. Because you should be on a plane right now. I'm not driving no damn 12 hours. 12 hours? 12 hours. For a, a video game convention. And baby, you can't afford the ticket. You can't go. And I'm too... I'm too... Mm -mm. I'm too petite. And I'm too... No, I'm too fragile. To be picking up hitchhikers. So... Um, I'm not driving no 12 hours for no convention. I'm, I'm, I know y'all like, damn, bitch. How many times you gonna say it? But I'm just saying. Whatever happens to you, sweetie. I hope you learned your lesson get to the club or get you a job or something and save up some money so you could afford a plane ticket where's we at it's we we in the mountains Driving at night is therapeutic for you. What the f- What is that? Girl, this is crazy. Look at where we're at. There's a very weird thing about this night. What the heck? Thought I could drive past the logs, but those wouldn't budge. I have to get out? Bro, chill, 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 chill. Stop, 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 stop. 
Stop, 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 stop. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Hurry up, girl. Use your muscles. What if... Oh my gosh! Why are there logs? This is this is a ploy. I thought the other log was moving. I was about to say, girl, and you got out your car and had to do all of this, but you ain't wanna uh, but you ain't wanna uh. And then y'all car is not even equipped for this. The car wanna start back up. Well, baby, what you gonna do? Cause this would never be me. <laughs> oh my gosh. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Mm. That sucks. Baby, I I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bull crap the glass station clerk pulled. Well, it's not pointing me getting out the car, huh? Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. Why the dialogue is going by itself, but at the moment I had no choice. She said she felt like she's in a cliche movie. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Baby girl, you're wild for this. So you gotta hitchhike with a stranger? You gotta do all of this if you you could have just bought a plane ticket. I'm mad at I'm mad at the characters for putting me in these situations. Like you should be you should do better. So what are we gonna stand outside? What are we supposed to do? 1023 PM So it's ten o'clock. I saw a car nearing. I wouldn't pick your ass up either. I'm sorry, honey. Pure evil. Well, baby, I, I wouldn't pick you up either. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Because you, because y'all have to understand, especially now, in 2023, there are ploys where they have children out to get to kidnap you. So they have like a baby walking or like a kid, 10.43 p.m. To, as a ploy or old person as a ploy to kidnap you so you have to be careful you can't just you you can't just help people like it's, it's dangerous out here you know what i'm saying like people there they use they have different tactics now because like i said it's 2023 people aren't just you know what i'm saying it's it's you can't trust people People are evil. It's people that's messed up in here. I guess this is all right. Why did he pull up all the way up here? You got to be careful, honey. You can't pick up no hitchhike. It could be a it could be a ploy. You're the girl from the gas station. Didn't think anyone would stop for me here. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you headed to? Um, just a near stop where I could call for help. Pop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay. Baby, you gotta get in this car with this man, honey. You already get in a car with this strange ass man. That's what I'm saying. You 19, you old enough to get in, to be in a strip club. Um, I'm not sure in some states, you know what I'm saying? In some states, you could be, um, you know, you could be under 21 and be in a club. If, if you really want to go, then you wouldn't have to worry about none of this, honey. 
or you could get you two jobs or something sweetie like <laughs> only had two hands I'm just saying the ambiance is excellent in this game though it's very scary I gotta take my hat too girl pick this up and you have to leave your car why is my shit on the ground you have to leave your car your car broke you don't even you don't even have the right car to be driving 24 hours is that everything like imagine how much money you're gonna be spending now Hurry up, I need to get moving now. I'm done. Finally, now hop in, be quick. Are we in a car with this man? Are you cool? This is so dangerous. This is so dangerous. Please, if you are 19 and you cannot afford a plane ticket, baby, if you're not comfortable with going in a strip club, honey. Get you a job. So you want to tell me who you are, where you're going? Um, I live really close from here. Is that so? In that case, I want to imagine you asking those questions at the gas station. It's okay. I want to trust me either. Jason. What? My name's Jason. I'm Holly. You could tell him your name. Even though he could be lying. But he said his name is Jason. He seemed cool. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Um, uh, it's an old car. That's it? I think so. Yeah, baby, you and then you have a old car. Like, you don't even have a new car to be driving 24 hours. Put it all the miles on your car. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Um, he really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Okay? So don't bother them. That's perfectly fine with me. Because I mind my business. I don't be going in nothing. I don't be investigating. <clears throat> I'm too black for that. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best of the people. He seemed cool. He seemed cool. He seemed cool. Just keep an eye on him in the corner of the screen, though. Twelve a.m. See, your wives could have been home by now. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. All right. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Yeah, I'll need a room to shack up for the night. $40 for single. Pay cash only. See, how much money you spending in total on this? Room number nine, right over there. $90, Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. For $90? Baby, 
That's pretty much a big chunk of your plane ticket, honey. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay. Room key number nine. What type of creepy ass painting you got right there? Oh, no, you got demons up in here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then she walks so slow. Room key number nine. Stop texting me. It was nice and warm inside. Can I lock the door? Nope. Except there was a smell. Type of musky smell you get from old houses. Um, who was supposed to sleep on this? And then you got this picture again. That's creepy. Couldn't have slept there. Okay, cut it off. This is creepy. There's no mattress here. Open the door. Ah! What the heck? What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tommy, room surface here at Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. What are you doing in here? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk give me, gave me this room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Let me get my stuff. What the fuck? You stupid ass bitch. Why are you in my room? Why are you in the door with it closed? Why would he just do that? Whose car is this? Steal that car. <laughs> and now it's you at a crusty ass motel. You done spent like a hundred dollars already. Is he done yet? How long do I gotta wait? Get the fuck out of my we were you're just standing here. Please wait outside. I said go get your stuff. You're just standing here. Where's my stuff at? Oh, uh. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. You're not even doing anything. You're just standing there. What is your ass doing in my room? Girl, you got to deal with creeps like this. You could be dealing with creeps and get it paid in the club. Like, honestly. But you dealing with creepy ass niggas for free. Why? And your duck ass is just standing here. Look at his duck ass. You're standing there for service, but you're not even helping me with my stuff. This is crazy. This creepy ass, freaky ass hotel. Motel. It's not a hotel, it's a motel. It's a difference. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. Y'all freaky, creepy ass. Yeah, shuffle on y'all. Close this door on this nigga. He had to put a whole mattress here. Can you close the blinds? You 
What the heck? Call it force up. There is something very off about that place. Yeah, no shit. I can't help shake the feeling that something wasn't right. The feeling tiredness was overcoming by anxiety. A hot cup of coffee could help, I thought to myself. You want coffee? Baby, you need to drink some water. You need to close these blinds. It was a nigga standing right there. Where you get coffee at? I wouldn't trust nothing from this motel. You crazy. So you don't have no water? Girl, get you some of this water. I was too low on cash for that. Didn't want it. Because some of these items increase your sprint speed. Where's the coffee at? Yeah, get your little orange pop. Where's the coffee at? Well, you got an orange pop, so let's go back to our room. Didn't want to sleep anymore. Where do you see coffee at? I thought this was supposed to increase my sprint speed. Ain't nothing increased. Oh, it did a little bit, yeah. Where does she see coffee at? She's about to piss me off. This? Not the espresso come with on, on top of a molded napkin and a spoon. What the heck? What the heck? What is this? Am I on drugs? My controls are backwards. I can't see the room number. Six. What am I on drugs? Why did your stupid ass drink that coffee? Eight. Oh my gosh. What the heck are you doing? She on drugs? What type of coffee is that? So you drank some coffee to stay up but ended up drinking drug coffee. Baby, I, I hope you learn your lesson from this. This is crazy. 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. This happened to her in real life? Who the f- Who was in my room? So I gotta start all the way over? What am I supposed to do? Leave the hotel room?
So somebody sedated me Like And then you Just standing there with the Blinds open like in the bed Where somebody could just Walk up and watch you sleep And you finna go over to this man Coffee that he put out here With drugs in it Drink this drug coffee Become sedated And then I think we have to leave the room So don't open the closet Cause his ass is in the closet We finna run out the room Dip Go to the front desk And tell them that somebody's broke into my room 3.18 a.m. I was sedated, baby. This is crazy. This is so scary. And like this man just walked in my room. I didn't feel safe going out. What the fuck do you mean? What does she mean? He's inside here. Are you stupid? Bro, what are we supposed to do? Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton. The man of steel. Drove from Fred Desk, open the door. Superman. What? Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are red? Mention the coffee machine. Your coffee machine has drugs in it, bro. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest. But I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Move out the way, bitch! Bro. This is wild. It's gonna be gone. Cause the dude put it there to drug your stupid ass. You're walking so slow. Look at where we're at. Like, I... <laughs> it's gone. What happened? Show me your coffee machine now. Well, it was right here. Where is it now? It was right there. I swear to God, it was right here. I said go back t to your room now. Okay, why are you walking up on me? There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. You're if she take these pills, she's really crazy. I wouldn't even have drank nothing from here. I wouldn't even be in this situation. <laughs> and 19, baby, you can't afford a plane ticket. Your ass shouldn't be going. I've had to miss out on stuff. He said medication. Is she gonna take this medication? Bro, she's really taking this medication. Requires water. This is crazy. <laughs> Did she really take this in real life? Mm -hmm. 
Do we get in the bed after this or? I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away, I'm gonna call the cops. Pretty lady, come on. What the heck? Bro, he at the door talking about some hello. Hello. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. Ma'am, you was drugged. I believe the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on a long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Yeah, sweetie, that's crazy. Wow. Ray L L. Beat the game, though. I'm sure, like, what am I supposed to do? That's crazy. Do you know how scary that is? Good job, Ray L. This game was creepy as fuck. Okay, that was Norwood Hitchhike by Ray L. Um, Fears to Fathom Episode 2. That was creepy. D this is why you need to... You 19, you don't know what you're talking about. You're driving 12 hours for a video game gaming convention, baby. You can't afford a plane ticket, you should stay your ass at home. But I'm sure she learned her lesson. That's creepy. Dude broke into her hotel room twice. Two times. That is so scary. And then she got drugged. Oh my gosh. If you found that entertaining, please like, comment, subscribe. Ringling the bell. Peace.